Hello, Prince William County parents. My name is Mr. Watts, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on Canvas for the parent, how to access and create your account, and what do you see from the parent perspective. I am an instructional technology coach at Colgan High School, and I am also a parent of a rising junior. So let's talk about how to get started. You're going to go to pwcs.instructure slash login slash Canvas. So you're going to save that to a bookmark. The first time to find it, if you go to the home PWCS webpage and scroll down to Canvas and Zoom, you'll then be able to scroll down and click on Canvas for Parents. That'll take you right to the same spot again. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to create an account. All parents will have to create an account to get started. You'll add in your name. I'm going to go ahead and let that fill in a little bit. You add in a password. And then here's where you need a student pairing code. So to access that pairing code, you can talk to your child's teacher or you can access ask your child to log in on their account. So here I am logged in on Annalise's account. I can see the courses that she would see from her perspective. So I can ask her to click on account. I can ask her to click on settings. And then I can ask her to scroll down and click on pair with an observer. And there's that code I need. And now I can go back here and paste that code. And now I can create my parent account. So I've already created one. So let me go ahead and log in. Here we are from the parent perspective. And I can see that I can see the courses that I'm enrolled in. So from this perspective, as a Colgan parent, I'm also enrolled in a Colgan parents course. I can see right here, I'm observing Annalise enrolled in a Watson NEM course with uh, my colleague, Daniel Nemero. I can see if there's any upcoming assignments, any recent feedback from her teachers. I could view grades if there were grades here. I can see that she's also enrolled in a CFPA dance class and in an Algebra 1 class. And then my daughter's the guinea pig for a lot of things. So she's also enrolled in a couple of summer school classes and so on. So on my side as a parent, I can go into accounts and I can change the notifications so that I can choose when I would like to be notified of certain class activity. I can also go to the dashboard. I can arrange these and put these in maybe a higher order. For example, I want this student course to be up a little bit higher next to my Colgan parent course. I can also go down into courses and I can see all current published courses. And then I can also see all courses, courses from previous enrollments like in the spring. On the calendar side, I can see any upcoming Zoom classes that might be scheduled. I can toggle those on and off. And on the inbox perspective, I can send a message from here to any one of my child's teachers. I just simply select the course, click on the little person, select the teacher, and now I can send a message. Not only can I send a text message, but I can also send a upload a document. And from this perspective, I can record media. So I can record a video message or an audio message that I would like to share with that teacher as well. Then let's dive in a little bit more into the courses. So I'm going to pick on this course right here. I created this course with and added my daughter into it. So from here, I can see any modules that are upcoming that are published. So this helps me in the lessons, knowing what my daughter needs to do for the day. I can also click here and see any upcoming Zoom meetings. So as a parent, I could join as well. Here, I could also see the cloud recordings of previous Zoom meetings. I can see any upcoming assignments that are coming up, any undated past assignments. On the grade perspective, I can see both the weighting of the class, so the 2080 of standards-based grading. I could also, from here, toggle back and forth in between my child's classes. I could also click on an individual assignment. Now, this is summer, so my daughter hasn't really done these assignments, but just for perspective, and I can click on them, and when I click on them, it opens up her work. So that's really helpful. I can see any files that I would like to upload or add. I can also connect to my own personal Google Drive, my own personal 365, a OneNote, and then any third-party LTI, what we call integrations that the teacher might be using, like for example, Soundtrap, or for example, Nearpod, and be able to participate in those. This teacher has also done a reoccurring Zoom link as their office hours, so I can click there and join the office hours as a parent. One last thing I'd like to show is the perspective from a, what is it like from the mobile application? So here's the mobile application right here. So from the parent, you can download this free app called Canvas Parent. Click Find My School. You're going to type in Prince William County Public Schools, and then you're going to see right over here 
we have parent side. So we're going to click on parents. We'll then go ahead and log in. And here I can see that I can toggle in between my, my children. I can add on my other daughter when she enrolls. I can see my child's grades. Again, this isn't her real grades. She's just pretending. I can click on the individual courses. I can see those pages. I can see the grades again. I can see the front page of the course. From here, I can click inbox and I can easily select a course and then message my child's teacher right there. Of course, then I can also see any calendar, upcoming events, and any alerts. So thanks for watching, and that is how you set up your account as a Prince William County parent in Canvas.